Yeah, this is an exciting year for us. Um, this is, I'm going into my third full year here this year, um, and the program has really grown a lot. Um, we started with about 36 men and women total. We're growing to 93 men and women total right now. Um, and we're really, really young because when we got here, there wasn't many seniors, juniors, or anything like that. And this year we have maybe a total of five seniors, maybe a total of five juniors, and everyone else is a freshman or a sophomore, which is exciting. Um, but at the same time, you know, really talented. We've talked about building and designing that culture here. And this is the first year where the coaching staff isn't really putting on everyone. The team is, is actually, we recruited kids who have that culture, who have that ability to lead our program. And so that's really exciting. And practice has really taken a, a different turn this year because of the motivation is just really up. It's very self-motivating. Um, with that comes a lot of goals that we put on the team and the team puts on themselves. So, you know, one of the things that we were talking about is this university has never had anyone who qualified for indoor nationals. And I've never had an athlete qualify for indoor nationals. We came very close a couple years ago. My first year here with Devante, he missed by like 0.01. And now this year, we have a, a realistic opportunity to send two or three on the men's side as well as the women's side this year. Uh, so yeah, we, we will have a couple of people who can qualify in the sprints this year, possibly in the jumps on the men's side. On the women's side, the throws, we have two or three throwers who maybe qualify for nationals and then maybe a relay team or so on the women's side. Um, and then even taking a step back to ECACs, you know, this year where, you know, a lot of time that was the big goal is getting kids to qualify for ECACs and that was, that was tough to do. This year it's one of those things where it's just gonna happen naturally and automatically and even going down to the conference level of, hey, you know, it's a big deal to qualify for the conference. Now it's just an expectation within our program because of the, the athletes that we have in here. Um, I think from a team perspective for conference championships, you know, our goal on the men's side is to finish in the top three this year. We have a lot of our event groups really covered. The distance team is really going to step up big this year with the additions that we have, including, you know, bringing back Langston Gash and Sam Rocoli. And on the women's side, you know, we had a really good sprint squad a couple years ago and then they all graduated. And now we have a group of freshmen uh, sprinters and jumpers who are going to really lead us. And then as well with the women throwers, again, you know, it's a good shot that the women can finish top five in the conference as well. Sure, yeah, so we've been practicing for almost an entire month now, so the itch to compete is really there with everyone. You know, it's almost like Christmas for us, where you have a lot of new toys you want to open up and you want to play with them. So that's kind of what it's like for us going into this meet is seeing what we have. Uh, the nice thing about this meet is that there is unlimited entries, so we're able to bring the entire team up and put a lot of people in all these events, which is something that will be very different throughout the year. We typically are only allowed to put in three or four in an event, and that makes it tough for us. So the nice thing is we'll see a lot of different faces being able to contribute and see what they can do this year.